Dream Chaser is a, a, we think, a very special spacecraft. It's an American-bred spacecraft that can take seven crew and critical cargo to low Earth orbit. It launches uh, on top of an, uh, an Atlas V rocket that will be taken and launched from Florida, and will be able to conduct many different kinds of missions here in low Earth orbit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, NASA, when NASA decided to retire the shuttle a number of years ago, it basically created two programs to bring America back to space. The first was a cargo program, which is in operation right now, and the second was a program to bring crew, astronauts, to the International Space Station and to low Earth orbit, as well as take critical cargo up and down. We are we're expecting about a 30 to 60 day turnaround on every vehicle, so a vehicle can fly somewhere between four and six times a year in terms of missions. It's about the size of a regional jet, it's a lot easier to maintain, the materials are, are considerably modern, and it's being designed to do that, it's being designed to be able to be a transportation system. So it's a fairly rapid turnaround. I think one of the things that uh, people get excited about is how fast do we go in space? And we could talk technical, it goes 17,000 500 miles an hour, which is uh, really, really fast. It's one of the fastest things that ever been. But one way I like to talk about it is that we actually get to do, we go around the world every 90 minutes. So that means it takes us about five minutes to get across Texas and, and then the south of the United States. And that we see 18 sunrises and sunsets every day which is sort of an interesting way for us to think about it, that one of the beautiful things when you get into space is that you get to see the, the Earth move around underneath you, but you also get to see the majesty of a sunrise and sunset. And in space, at this speed, we get to see 18 a day, so it's, it's a pretty good day when you get to be able to do that. History that Texas has in human spaceflight, and to actually have this, uh, this next vehicle, this first orbital vehicle, manufactured right here in Fort Worth, right here in Texas, is really exciting. I mean, it's amazing to me. Flight hardware has a special place in my heart when I'm able to put my hands on something that's actually going to safely carry our astronauts into space. And this piece of hardware that you see sitting right behind you, in just a few years, 2017, will actually be, be uh, checked out and flown in space at 17,500 miles an hour. So I couldn't be more excited to be here today and, and to be part of this uh, incredible program.